Hey there, I'm Lee Kellogg, and today's video is traveling with art supplies, with your sketchbook, your bag. It's like, what do you take? How do you carry it on the airplane? How do you travel with it? Or if you're traveling by train, it's pretty much the same thing. So we're going to dig into what I take with me on my trips. So let's go look at it. Okay, so you're going away, you found out, you've planned, you're doing two weeks in Europe, you want to sketch, but you want to do carry-on only. Totally possible. My husband and I did uh, 18 days in England with, four, we each had 40 liter packs and one personal bag. Entirely possible. Easy carry-on, it allowed us to travel easily through London on the underground, we traveled all over Britain on the train, easy, easy. You really want something that's easy and portable. I've taken rollies with me, rolly bags and backpacks, and I'll do a whole nother session on what to take, how to pack a backpack or how to pick, pack your 40 liter rolly bag. Um, I'm still undecided as to whether backpack or rolly bag. They're, they're both advantageous. They have both have their advantages and disadvantages. Today's video is what did I take for my art bag? And this is, this is my art bag. This is a Mountain Smith, um, I believe it's their day pack. And it holds quite a bit of um, product and product stuff. It's got two nice side pockets. You can see this is my Hydro Flask. This is a big water bottle. It holds it securely. Some of the smaller Mountain Smiths, and even some of those other smaller hit packs, the, the pouch for the water bottle is small. And Yes, I travel with a metal water bottle. I empty it out before I go through security. I fill it up as soon as I'm through security. Most airports have bottle fillers now, not all. And I actually found some in Europe. There were, in, or in England, a few bottle fillers, not as readily available as you see in US airports and uh, elsewhere, but they are there. So let me unpack some the water bottle. The other thing I found handy about one of these is you can tuck an umbrella into it or you can roll up a jacket. This pack also has a nice space right here for stashing um, like a, your coat if it's um, gotten warm or if you just need to take an extra one and these adjust. I like to have a carabiner, like to hook my baseball cap on or something else, you never know. Um, before I do that, this guy has a shoulder strap. This is why I like this. So shoulder strap and the waist, the hip pack, the waist belt things going on with pockets there. Both of them have that. It's super easy. This one's got a slide in pocket. So lots of, of flexibility with this pack. I, I have used various sizes of Mountain Smith packs over the years and I really, really like them. This has become my favorite. I actually now use it also when I go cross country skiing uh, because it's a good size and I can get a lot in this and not have a lot of weight on my shoulders, which if you're carrying a backpack like in, in Europe, you need to have, you've already got your shoulders full. So the shoulder strap sort of goes over everything um, or you could do a double waist. But anyway, what I take, this is this we're talking about, about what I have in my bag for artwork. So my first off was I did not want a full um, board to have to work on. And so I have this, this is core plast and I have put like duct tape or gaffers tape around the edges so they're not sharp. Core plast is easily found at most craft stores, home, home improvement stores. It's plastic, like corrugated cardboard plastic. It makes a great... So one of the other cool things with using core plast is that I've discovered I can put my masking tape, which is, this is actually a, a delicate surfaces 3M tape. I found it in the painting section. They also call it washi tape. Um, it is a paper tape that usually will not tear your paper but I like to use it to create boxes on my, in my journals. And I've discovered that just sticking some down here, uh, it allows me to, it easily peels off. So I can take some with me and I can just stick it back down on here. And this is reusable for many times because we're just putting it on our pages and taking it off after we're done painting. So item number two is a little bag with my brushes and pencils. So I like my non-photo blue uh, Prismacolor pencil. I outline, do my outlines in that. Um, I usually have a black pen. 
my the phenomenal pilot razor point this is a felt tip marker that is water soluble once so you can get it wet move it around and then it dries permanent so it becomes a fabulous way to add a nice fine black line and feather it out with some water and create shadows the other thing i do take with me is my fountain pen this is a, a platinum it's a super fine tip that i like to draw with i carry noodler's polar brown ink in this um, that's one of my favorite tools I do empty the ink out before I get on the airplane. I carry little Nalgene bottles of ink in a Ziploc bag with a paper towel. And that way I can refill my pens. And then the travel brushes. You don't have to. All right, travel brushes are important because the, the brush folds into the handle rather than just having something on a stick. A lot of some people travel with their regular brushes. They will put them in like a toothpaste or tooth brush container or other containers to prevent the tip from getting bent and that's the key if you're going to travel with larger brushes you need to protect your brush end of your um the, the the bristle end of your brush so i like my da vinci's you want to be careful not to over tighten this this is a um a number two it's fairly fat but that reflects what i like to do so i use this one and then i've also got this dagger brush which I like the um, the tip. It gives me allows me to have a fine tip, and it also gives some nice strokes. I recommend that you um, practice with your brushes. Practice with all of your material before you travel, so you know how they work. So there's the pens and the brushes. Um, otherwise, I keep you know I like I like little bags, keep things organized. A little Nalgene for water. While I always have my water bottle with me, I like to have extra water. Um, a sock top to wipe up. I also carry uh, blue. These are blue um, shop paper towels. They're super absorbent and last a long time. Don't disintegrate fast. So I always take one or two of those my water container this is um, done by c it's a little what they call a shot cup by c to summit it folds up it's silicone it's like i love this thing i'll tell you where to get it in a minute and i have no affiliation with anything that i am showing you at the time of this recording this is just all stuff that i use all right art tool kits you can get your little c to summit shot cup there art tool kits make some of the best palettes for carrying around this is there's a magnetic sheet underneath here and then these are all little metal cups that you you buy empty and you can fill them with whatever paints you want you do need to make sure that you've got either know your colors really well and where you have them or have a little guide so that you have a good idea of where you're at and i liked having um I'm a big mixer of colors, so I mix frequently on here, but I liked having these two little pieces for additional mixing or sometimes just even a little bit of water there. And I have dumped these, they do fall out. My recommendation is that when you go to label them or fill them, that you take a Sharpie pen and label the bottom first so that you know what color is in there. And you can see it's not very big. It's super thin, easy to travel with, lightweight. It's like way better than just about every other uh, travel palette that I have come across. And um, they do, Art Toolkit makes smaller ones. So if you want to travel even lighter with just a few colors, you can do that. All right, Bulldog Clips with Rare Earth Magnets on here. And these guys I clip on to my Coreplast board. Flip that down. I've got two sturdy magnets and this guy sits there, sits right on there and that allows me to work on this. Um, I can, if I'm feeling confident, stick my uh, water container on there. I'm usually, it's, it's a little better balanced when it's got water in it. I'm usually not that confident about that so I don't, I try not to balance this this way. Um, but this I have used frequently and I try to work sitting down or resting this on something when I'm painting 
if I, I do a lot of my pre-sketches with my fountain pen so that I have my outline stems. A lot of times I will sketch in pen first. All right, paper. I like to take a pad of good paper, just in loose sheets, so that I can make thank you gifts for people. I actually did a couple of these for a couple, um, my niece and her husband. I painted their restaurants and I painted a, a house for another person who hosted us for lunch one day so that, you know, if you're doing something, it's special to create an image of where, you know, if you're traveling and you see somebody or see something, visit somebody, it's a quick impromptu gift. It can also be a quick impromptu birthday card if something like that comes up. I know a number of people like to travel with individual sheets or make sections of books. I thought about that for this trip, but decided I went back to my um, Pentalic Aqua Journals, which I love these books. These have been my favorites for several years now. And I find, yeah, they hold up. They hold up pretty well. I've got room to write in the front, uh, space in the back. There's a nice little pouch for all the little things that if you want to collect to glue in. And the, the paper holds up. It holds up really well to abuse, being dropped, carried around, painted, being flipped through. You know, that's what you want. You want a good a book that's going to hold up. Again, know your materials. Do use whatever you're getting. Don't make it the first time. If you're go, going to go on a two-week trip to Europe and, you know, I did most of this, I did about half of the journal while I was there and then the other half when I got back. So I, I personally have no issue with finishing up at home because, you know, when you're traveling, you're doing like so much, you run out of time and you run out of time at night and I get tired. It's like, you you got the jet lag going on and all of that. Um, but know your materials. Once again, know your paints, know how they react on your on your paper, know how they react in your journal. And in some cases, you might want to take the back page and do a color swatch. I've done that on other, like the first couple of times I used one of these. This is what I used the tape for. I created a box with that purple tape and then painted in and then tore the, um, removed the tape. And I got this nice, nice edge, deckle edge. So it's fun to be able to create either uneven edges like this, or you could do straight edges, just all up to you. So that's it in a nutshell of what I take. And in addition to all my art supplies in here, I always crammed like a windbreaker. I definitely have my umbrella, it being England, England, it's gonna rain. Um, on the airplane, I carried snacks. Always, always take snacks, especially if you're on some sort of restricted diet or special diet. And plus you can't always guarantee that you're gonna get healthy things in an airport or on the airplane. Um, and a book, because I'm a book reader. Instead of reading something on my phone, I read actual books. So I carried books with me and swapped books out at various little free libraries and moved things around. It was a lot of fun. So anyway, that's it. That's my travel case for um, just about any trip these days. Hope you'd enjoyed it. I'm Lee Kellogg. You can find more at my website, leekellogg.com. And subscribe to Creativity Monthly. And if you want to do a, tra a trip with me where we sketch all the time, or at least as much time as possible, um, I've got a survey up on my website. So Travel With Me is the, the page. And please complete the survey. So it's a no obligation survey. So I know where you want to go in 2024 and beyond. And all the, those good gory details. And you won't get bombarded with emails. Either way, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.